The town of Framingham is partnering with the Metropolitan Area Planning Council to showcase a vision for a revitalized downtown area. That's right, and some 150 people gathered at the Memorial Building for this open house to share and discuss that vision. Folks who attended were able to share their own ideas, questions, and comments on specific strategies to build an active and safe downtown. This is just the latest step building on the 2009 master plan designed to reinvigorate downtown Framingham as a regional center for business, housing, transportation, and recreation. We've been, uh, as a town, engaged in a discussion for almost two years now about how to attract new investment in our downtown. And I've had the privilege to work with a stakeholder group that has first uh, looked at some of these questions in some detail. And we've taken that information and through working with some consultants have done some follow-on work that have helped us better flesh out what the major issues are around feasibility, around zoning, and around infrastructure. So I've had the opportunity to work with a consulting team to develop these ideas and now we are at the point of sharing them with the uh, with the community at large. We started the process off by looking at uh, what is the demand for development both residential and commercial um, in the downtown to try to see would people actually come down here and live down here and work down here and put, bring businesses down here. We know Framingham is a very diverse area and we want to make sure we hear from everybody uh, what their thoughts are for how downtown should be in the next 5, 10, 20 years. What this is, is the last in a, in a long series of, of, of visioning, trying to get people to stop thinking about an area as they perceive it and start thinking about the possibilities of an area. That's really what it's about. And uh, I have to say the team in here has done a fabulous job on that. There have been so many people that have um, been really major participants in the revitalization of downtown, what I like to call the great comeback. Um, one of the things that they talked about tonight is that the old, the study that they did in 2009 um, that was created by the Cecil Group, uh, it was the, the basis for what they built this study from. Um, and so it's been a lot of great work over the years and I'm excited for the next couple of years to see the construction changes that are happening. The infrastructure is going to be beautiful. It's going to be a walkable, bright, lively, vibrant downtown with the street lights and more crosswalks and brick sidewalks and trees and shrubs and graining. And um, that is thrilling to me because this town deserves to have that. I think the timing is right. I think that we have a tremendous asset in the form of our train station, which is the most active on the Framingham Worcester line and that we're seeing an economy that's in transition. I think conditions are ripe for if we make some changes to, to attract some significant new investment to our downtown. People really want to have an active downtown, a place that they can go and grab something to eat, get a coffee, maybe a place to work, and certainly a place to live. Um, they want it to be active and safe and vibrant and feel like there's a buzz in downtown when they come down. It's the hip, it's the cool place to go in Metro West.